This Sunday is Divine Mercy Sunday, the second Sunday of the Easter season. As you know, it was named by Pope John Paul II at the canonization of St. Maria Faustina on April 30th, 2000, and then officially decreed by the Vatican. Divine Mercy Sunday can be seen as the convergence of all the mysteries and graces of Holy Week and Easter Week. The feast focuses the light of the risen Christ into a radiant beam of merciful love and grace for the whole world. Perhaps you have heard this story. A pastor was once traveling in a plane. It was a long flight and there was the sign of turbulence and all were asked to fasten their seat belts. Later, the voice of the pilot said, we are so sorry that we are unable to serve the meal at this time. The turbulence is still ahead of us. And within moments, that huge plane was like a cork tossed around on a celestial ocean. One moment, the airplane was lifted on currents of air. The next, it dropped as if it were about to crash. The pastor shared the discomfort and fear of those around him. As he looked around his seat, he could see that nearly all the passengers were upset and alarmed and started praying. Then he saw a girl to whom the turbulence meant nothing. She had tucked her feet beneath her as she sat on her seat and was reading a book. Everything within her small world was calm and orderly. Worry and fear were not in her world. The plane finally reached its destination and all the passengers were hurrying to disembark while the pastor lingered to speak to the girl whom he had watched for such a long time. Having commented about the turbulence and asked her why she had not been afraid, the sweet child replied, Sir, my dad was the pilot and I knew he was taking me home. We are also in a similar situation of turbulence caused by COVID-19 pandemic. Not just we, but the entire world is going through this havoc like that flight turbulence. None of us for sure knows when this devastation is going to end. Like the child in the story, let us trust in God our Father and his plans for us. With Saint Faustina looking at the Eucharistic Lord, let us pray. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. I trust in your plans for me, for my family, and for the entire world. The heart of Christ, his sacred heart, has given us everything, redemption, salvation, and sanctification. Saint Faustina saw coming from this heart that was all flowing with generous love, two rays of light which illuminated the world. The two rays, according to what Jesus himself told her, represent the blood and the water. Through the mystery of this wounded heart, the restorative tide of God's merciful love continues to spread over the men and women of our time. Here alone can those who long for true and lasting happiness find its secret. The current situation 
we are going through can make at least some of us skeptical about God's mercy. One may be tempted to ask the age-old question, if God is just and merciful, why are so many innocent people suffering and dying? The presence of suffering does not mean God does not love us. Rather, it's quite the opposite. Christ came and suffered with us and took that punishment when he didn't have to. In times of suffering, Christians should honor the Lord by trusting him and knowing that he loves us and has a purpose for our lives. It is with St. Thomas, whose story we heard from the Gospel, that you and I must approach the throne of God's mercy and utter in just five words what perhaps is the deepest expression of faith known in history, my Lord and my God. <laughs>